So you're looking for the best affiliate tracking software? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a super cool software that you could use to track your affiliate links quick and easy. My name is Raheem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so we inside of the software. So this software is called Click Magic, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you throughout these tabs right here so you can have complete clarity on, on exactly what it is that this can do for you. And if you see value at any point, you can go ahead and use the first link down below in the description. That'll allow you to get free 14 days so that you could test it out for 14 days. And at the end of 14 days, if you still see value like I have, since I've been actually using this tool since about 2015, so I would definitely say this is a great tool to be using to track your affiliate links so if you see value just go ahead and use that link all right all right so let's go ahead and get started so right here on the campaigns tab that's where we are now right so I'm gonna just break this down make it very very simple the campaigns tab I use it for paid ads so if you're using Facebook or if you're using Google ads or if you're using Bing ads or any of those ad platforms Instagram then this is gonna be a great tool because a lot of those platforms don't tend to like redirects so basically what that means is if somebody sees a link and then they click on that link and then that link takes them to another URL that wasn't the URL that they clicked on Google ads, Facebook ads, all those other platforms, they don't tend to like redirects. So what campaign does is it allows you to have one link and then when they click that link, it's going to stay there, right? It's not going to have that redirect effect, which the other platforms don't like, which can actually put your um, ad accounts and, you know, hot water all right so that's why that's the value of the campaigns tab right and i'm not gonna go through the entire campaigns tab because this would be an extremely long video if i were to go through every single tool but i will show you something that's valuable because i know uh facebook had their you know the thing with apple and you know it caused a lot of uproar or whatever right so what they do is if i click on tools right here this is how you would set it up but then you can see right here it says audience optimization now this part is is very very important so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and as you can see once your data comes in it'll send the information back to the ad platform because if you're not aware a lot of times when you run a paid ads when you look at the data that's inside of the um, inside of the dashboard inside of the platform like Google Microsoft Facebook or whatever it's not always accurate so now when you got a a, 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 a a tracking system that'll send the data back that's accurate now you can optimize your ads and now it's gonna cost you a lot less right versus having all the wrong data and now you're making the wrong moves as far as optimization that's why having a tool like this is powerful and as you can see you could do automatic or you could do manual right each and every one has their own right and then you could just import your data as well right so it's manual way automatic way but this right here is where the value is when it comes to the uh, campaigns all right so now we're gonna go over to the tracking links right because obviously that's the real reason you're here because you want to learn how to actually track your affiliate links all right so what you want to do is right here where it says new link you want to click on that and then right here it says link name all right so the link name obviously it says that it's optional but for me what I do right since I use a lot of YouTube videos uh, what I'll do is I'll put the product name here so whatever the product is that I'm promoting right let's just say that I'm promoting click magic I'll put the product name and then I'll put a dash and then on the dash I'll put it's coming from this video so that way I know okay this video generated the sales and then I'll look at the clicks and say okay this is the amount of clicks that I have and so now I can look at my data optimize based on my Data. and this is the same thing you want to do when you're doing like paid ads now I got a lot of being ads videos on here where I show like what I was doing and then I show like my data and then I show okay well it took me this amount of clicks to be able to get this and I know I'm getting a little bit you know a little bit more advanced if you're not that advanced yet you'll be all right you'll eventually get it but uh, when it comes to my tracking I like to be you know like I, I like to have everything focused all right and then I'll, at the end I'll just put okay it came from this video so we'll just kind of finish this out and then down here you can see the tracking link this is the one that click magic gives you right so it's like their URL and then you can put a slug on the end of that right so a slug is just basically what is the tool so I know that this is a tracking tool so I might put track like a pro 
and then when they see the link it's going to be just like this and then it's going to have track like a pro or track pro or whatever it is or sometimes i might put the name of the product on there so i know that it's coming from that as well right so that's what you could do with that and then down here what you want to do is you actually want to put the affiliate link in the primary url because once you put it down here all you got to do now is you can hit create link now i know you can't really see that it says create link but we're not going to go there yet because i want to show you the additional things so right here it says pixels so if you're doing paid ads if you're doing like retargeting and all of that stuff right you can go ahead and just paste your uh, facebook link in here right or you can use a click magic tracking pixel now this dynamic affiliate link is kind of like let's say you're doing affiliate marketing you know you don't have complete control and so let's say you want to put like another page uh before that then they'll allow you to create something like that right so that's where you get into like you might be you know, more on the advanced side if you're doing some of that type of stuff because you know if you're just starting out you're just going to have like your affiliate link and maybe like a capture page in front of that right so you can kind of send people to wherever it is that you're going to be sending them all right now the next thing is costs all right so when you see right here it says select cost type so if i click this it says one time cost cost per click cost per action so if i know what the cost per click is i can click this and i can put okay i'm spending a dollar per click on this campaign or i'm spending fifty dollars oh no i definitely ain't spending no fifty dollars per click you know it just depends what niche you're in right so you will put that in there and then right here the urls so what this is is let's say for instance you have like i don't know maybe you got like affiliate offer or a cpa offer and you know they have like different links that they give you let's say that they have like a mobile url then you could put okay this is the mobile url uh this is for the ios people and then this is my backup url right now obviously i don't tend to use that i like to keep everything simple so i just usually stay up on the basic page but i do want to show you like you know all the different things that you could do with your link now this next one is actually pretty cool right because i know that there's a lot of offers out there um, that don't let you, um, you know, make sales from certain countries. So let's say, for instance, I want to exclude countries. So right here, you can include countries and you can exclude countries. So right here, we got tier one countries, tier two countries, tier three countries, EU countries, and then, of course, the unselect all. Now, let's say, for instance... I can't make sales if the people that are trying to buy are from this country. So what I could do is I could say, okay, just go ahead and click on this tier three and look, look at this. It literally just selected 200 countries because there's over 200 countries that are in the tier three category, right? Which are usually like countries that don't have as much money. And sometimes affiliate vendors, they'll be like, well, you know, you can't receive sales from this country, right? And if you don't want them, let's say it's tier two. So I click on tier two, there's 43 tier two countries and then i can unselect those and if obviously you will want to do tier one because tier one countries tend to have a lot more money but it's easy because all you got to do is just click a button just like that all right so i'm gonna just go ahead and hit unselect all and then i'm gonna go to filter so i usually don't bother this i just leave it on default they uh flag bot clicks they flag server clicks spider clicks uh, and users. So basically all of those things are just things that are pretty much in the algorithm. They're used to, um, you know, search, uh, like when they're doing, like when they're scraping websites and different things like that, Google, like sometimes you'll get bot clicks from time to time, right? Just so you're a little bit, you know, get a little bit of knowledge on those particular things. And then over here, I typically don't use any of this stuff. This kind of gets more into like co-op type of stuff to where you want to put a certain maximum amount of clicks on certain things. So that's what that is. All right. But once you're done, you go back to basic and you hit create link and it's going to create your link. Now, once it creates your link, I'll just use this, for example, right here. If I hit this, uh, this, uh, the, the wrench and I go ahead and hit copy tracking link. All I got to do is just hit copy. And then now if I paste my link up here, boom, there's my link right there, right? Very, very simple for you to do that. Now the next tab is the rotator tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on rotators. Now people who use rotators is typically people who are like in network marketing, or if you're doing some type of co-op thing where you, you giving people a certain amount of clicks, that's what this particular thing would be. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So first I will want to create a new rotator and then right here you can see same kind of thing we had as far as the links 
but you go ahead and you put your rotator name so you put your team name if you're doing like network marketing or if you do this for solo ads or whatever you want to do and then same thing with the link so i could use you know a custom domain set that up or i could just use this link right and then go ahead and put our slug in and then down here this is where you choose the mode right because there's different ways you can do rotators so you got the fulfillment and what i'm gonna do so you get clarity on what each one is once I click on this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little question mark. So what they do is they have like a, a knowledge base, right? Of videos, text, and it's real, real valuable. So it really prevents you from always having to reach out to support when you have an issue. So having something like that is very, very valuable in a tool like this. All right, so check it out. So fulfillment, right? So what is fulfillment? Fulfillment will send all the traffic to the first active URL in the rotator, including repeat clicks from the same user into that URL has received a maximum number of clicks. So you can go in here and get an example. So here we go. The first time Billy hits your rotator, he'll see URL number one. The first time Susie hits your rotator, she'll see URL number one as well, right? So it's literally telling you what it is. So you will have clarity on exactly what it is that, you know, based on what you want to do, however you want to set your stuff up, then you you could just go in here and get an understanding and then what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go back so let's say i set up everything and i want to go with the regular spillover so right here we got our backup url and you can actually randomize it so if you want to just you know mix it up a little bit you can randomize it every 30 seconds so it might move other links in front of so on and so on right very simple process and the fact that they have the knowledge base that's where the true value is and then you go ahead and you put your backup url just in case you know anything happens or whatever and then you just go ahead and hit create link and like i said you can adjust all of these different things right here okay and then the most valuable part is if i click learn the knowledge base right so you can see right here select the category so all you're going to do is literally okay affiliate marketing what in here can I what in here deals with affiliate marketing? How do I track sales with my affiliate network? So what you would do, you know, in regards to like sales when it comes to affiliates is most times as an affiliate, you don't own the entire funnel. Right. So there's things that that are called like post back URLs that you can set up. So like, for example, if you're trying to promote some uh, ClickBank products with ClickBank products, you can literally have all of your data flowing back from the tracking to the uh, ClickBank platform, and then now you will see all your data, you will be able to track your sales inside of here as well, right? So it's a lot of valuable information. So if I click on that, boom, you can see right here, ClickBank, Max Bounty, CJ Affiliate. And so that's where we get into like, you know, some of the uh, integrations, right? And having integrations, having a software that's been around for a long time, like I said earlier, I've been using this since 2015 and I haven't stopped using it, right? Which is why I consider this one of the best uh, tracking systems out there because literally I've never had any issues, right? I've always been able to track my data. And one thing I, one thing I always say is that once you find something that works for you, you keep working that and you get better at that thing. All right. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over here to the tracking links. And then right here, if you click on the tools, you can see we got an affiliate link better, uh, builder, a batch editor, custom postbacks, domain manager, IP manager. So if I click on do domain manager, you can see the two domains that I've set up. Right. So I got this one and I got this one. And then I can go ahead and I can continue to add other domains. So if I got different projects or whatever and I want to use different ones to track, then I can do that as well. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to get access to Click Magic free for 14 days, go ahead and use that first link down below in the description. That'll give you instant access. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.